Good evening, all of you. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hi, Mohammed. How are you? Fine. Okay, so we are going to start a new chapter today of history and we will do uh, uh, Nazism and the rise of Hitler. Anybody heard of Hitler? Yes. Who did not hear of Hitler? Yeah, Yukta, you have not heard of Hitler? Yes, ma'am, I did. Yes, you did. Okay, who is he? Tell me. Any idea? Come on. Who was Hitler? Uh, Sampath, you tell me. Mama, he, he was uh, a, a ruler, or he was a person who believed in a dictatorship and uh, uh, he first, he, uh, first uh, implemented dictatorship in German and uh, he con conducted war. He conducted war, yeah, and he followed uh, the uh, Nazism, yeah. And what was this Nazism? Uh, he was a main thing. Who was the Hitler? He was a dictator. What of this word? Dictator? What is dictator? Mohammed Ryan? You tell me. Dictator is a kind of a ruler who governs everything by his own word. Okay. Nobody has a say into it. There is no elections. There is no democracy. Okay. That is a dictator. Okay. Now, when we begin your chapter, okay. So, we, in this uh, chapter, we are going to study about the formation of the Weimar Republic. Okay. The Weimar Republic. Okay. And the rise of Hitler, Hitler's power. How Hitler became powerful. We will study about Hitler's the background and we have the flow of Nazi around the world, how Nazi was uh, uh, flowed around the world and the racial ideology. Okay. Who, uh, whom did they kill a lot? The Nazis? Jews. Yeah, they, the <laughs> racial ideology <laughs> was they were against the Jews. <laughs> It was not only the Jews. Please mute your mic. There is a voice from the background. Yeah. People. Yeah. They were uh, against the German Jews, all Jews at all, uh, on the whole, and also uh, the Germans. Okay. Now, how the year the depression affected the German economy? We will study about that. Okay. So, first of all, when we begin your chapter, we there is a small story, okay, about Helmut. Now, Helmut is lying in bed when he overhears his parents discussing something in serious tones. Okay, a prominent physician deliberated with his wife whether the, the time ha had come to kill the entire family. So, this boy, Hel uh, Helmut, he hears his parents of a, talking about suicide, okay. And nobody knows why they were talking about the he doesn't he wonders why it's suicide and because of the, this fear he walks out of his house and he fears eating in his house house okay so although Helmut may be a, may may not have realized that all that it meant his father had been a Nazi and a supporter of Adolf Hitler many of you will know about the nazis and the hitler you probably know of hitler's determination to make germany into a mighty power and his ambitions of conquering all over the europe okay so he won what was it this guy uh, hitler okay he was greedy for power and he believed in war in war, uh, war that he should conquer this land also he should conquer this land also all these neighboring lands and he wanted his uh, power to 
okay he wanted his power now we will talk about the birth of weimar republic okay 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 now germany for the first world war that was between 1914 and 1918 that is uh, about four years now along with the austrian empire and against the allies okay that is england france and russia just a minute okay 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 now uh, so uh, after this the germany in initially made gains by occupying france and belgium however the allies okay one defeating germany and the central power in 1918 okay so uh, the allies who were allies they combined their hands together that is the austrian empire and the allies were england france and russia okay they together defeated germany fine in the world war world war 1 now a national assembly met at weimar weimar is the name of a place okay yes. and established yes. a democratic constitution with a federal structure the weimar however was not received well by its people largely because of the terms was forced to accept the uh, after germany's defeat yes. at the end of the first world war many germans held the new weimar republic responsible for not only the defeat of uh, in the war but the disgrace of versailles okay now this uh, because they had lost the war and many uh, uh, rules and many uh, regulations were imposed on them penalties were imposed on them so that's why the republic was not a good uh, did not um, uh, give a good impression on the people of germany okay they thought the republic was kind of a shame disgrace okay now what is the effect of the war okay now the war had a devastating impact on the entire continent both psychologically and financially okay they were they had uh, they had to pay heavy uh, taxes also now from being a creditor europe uh, began to began uh, began a debtor okay so they lost an economy and the supporters of the weimar republic were criticized and became easy targets of attack in the conservative national circles okay the people began to the normal common people of german they began to blame the weimar republic for this okay now soldiers came to came to be placed above civilians because the soldiers were fighters okay so that's why they became to be placed above the civilians aggressive war propaganda and national honor became important okay for political radical, uh, radicalism and economic crisis the birth of weimar republic coincided with the uprising of the spartacist uh, league on the pattern of the bolshevik revolution in russia the spartacists found the communist party of germany political radicalization was heightened by the economic crisis in 1923 as germany refused to pay the war reparation they were uh, they, they were asked to pay uh, uh, penalty type okay for because they had lost the war so um, uh, because of this there was uh, uh, german began to feel heavily uh, they began to be uh, very uh, uh final they were going to feel financial losses so what happened they stopped paying the war uh, reparations so, so what happened uh, uh, france occupied a industrial their industrial area is called ruhr okay this was an in, uh, rich in iron industrial area okay so in what happened after this the, in retaliation german what happened in uh, response to uh, when they occupied their land ruhr what germany did they started to print more currency okay now though because of printing printing more currency the german mark collapsed 
okay now peep you know prices of goods began to rise high and the there was this was there was an uh, impact of hyperinflation okay hyper in what is what happens in hyperinflation the currency value falls and the prices of goods uh, rises so what happened even there is uh, people started uh, moving around uh, in barrels of uh, uh, currency okay now next comes the years of depression have you all understood so far let me refer to your book okay let us talk about the birth of vimar okay now like we had said they had lost the first world war in 1914 to 18 okay and they were defeated by the allies uh allies were england france and russia okay when was world war 1 it was 1914 to 1918 okay and it was germany against the allies and who were the allies england france and russia, and russia. yeah good okay now what was the impose republic was not okay so what happened germany lost its overseas colonies a tenth of its population 13% of its territories 75% of its iron and 26% of its coal to france poland Denmark and Luthen and Lithuania. Okay, so this is the impact of the First World War. Okay, the Allied uh, powers demilitarized uh, Germany. Okay, now they take they took away their army. Okay, and to weaken its power, the War Guild clause held Germany responsible for the war. so this was the war guilt clause they said that germany was responsible for the war so they would pay for the damages okay and the allied uh, countries suffered because because of them and germany was forced to pay compensation amount of 6 billion uh, you can say euros okay this is pound sorry this is the sign of pound okay the allied armies also occupied their resource rich rhineland for much of the 1920s many germans held the new weimar republic responsible for not only the defeat in the war but for the disgrace of versailles okay now what happened they the you know, common german the citizens of germany they began to blame the weimar okay now let's talk about the effect of the uh, of the war you want to note this down shall we begin shall we move forward now what was the effect of the war the war was uh, devastating okay it was very uh, bad uh, on the entire continent both psychologically and financially they were suffering okay now from a creditor the euro german became a debtor he began to borrow money from america and all that so okay and also the vmr uh, republic uh, the supporters of vmr republic were criticized and they became easy target on attack on the conservative uh, nationalist circles the soldiers were placed above the citizen uh, sorry civilian aggressive war propaganda and national honor became important means we should kill we should die this type of feeling was uh, spread okay now uh, this we have done uh, vmr republic was uh, made to pay for the sins of the old empire okay now republic carried the burden of the war guilt and national humiliation uh, and was financially crippled by being forced to pay compensation 
those who supported the weimar republic so that is the socialist catholics and democratic they became easy targets of attack on in the conservative nationalist circles remember this conservative nationalist circles okay now they were mockingly called the november criminals okay now these the few supporters of vmr republic okay they were mocked they were made fun of and they were called no november criminals this mindset had a major impact on the political development of the early 1930s as we soon see so what was what was uh, engraved in the people of uh, german that republic is no good okay the first world war left a deep imprint on the european society and and uh, polity what the word polity mean soldiers came to be placed above civilians okay this we studied politicians and publicists publicists laid great stress on the need for men to be aggressive now they wanted who for them who is the real man the, the real man is the one who is aggressive strong and masculine okay so gentlemen were no good for them they wanted men to be aggressive strong and masculine okay the media glorified trench life mean the those who are masculine and macho type fine the truth however was that soldiers live miserable life in these trenches wrapped with rat, rats feeding on cops okay so they the normal german citizens they started to glorify the uh, soldiers why because they were masculine and they were uh, aggressive and they were strong and all that but actual what happened what was the reality that they were living a very miserable life they were forced to live a miserable life and as you see uh, they were trapped with rats feeding on cops they faced poisonous gas and enemy uh, shelling and witnessed their ranks reduced rapidly so instead of getting a promotion they were demoted fine right? aggressive war propaganda and national honor occupied central page in the public public sphere while popular support grew for conservative dictatorship that had recently come into being democracy was indeed a young and fragile idea which could not survive the instabilities of the inner europe okay now what do you understand by the situation can anybody tell me sampath what is the situation when a person is hungry okay when the when you see that we are being forced to pay compens compensation when the, the citizens were seeing that we our territories were taken away our industries were taken away right so naturally they felt humiliated and now they need to blame somebody so they blame the weimar republic because they were the one who surrendered germany okay so they begin to they naturally person want to blame somebody so they begin to blame them so for them because they were republic so now republic is not good dictatorship is good for them okay so they begin this begin to imprint on their mind now let's talk about the political crisis political radicalism and economic crisis now the birth of uh, republic coincided with the revolutionary uprising of the spartist league on the pattern of bolshevik revolution in russia so this was you call this spartacist league okay now soviets of workers and sailors were established it was in the uh pattern of uh, russian revolutionaries okay in many cities the political uh, atmosphere in, Ber in berlin was changed was was charged with demand for soviet style governors they wanted the uh, government to be in the style of that of russia those opposed with this such as the socialist democrats and catholics met in weimar to give shape to the democratic republic the weimar republic crushed the uprising with the help of a war veterans organization called free corps the anguished spartists uh, later founded the communist party of germany okay they founded the communist party of 
Germany. Communists and socialists here uh, henceforth became inconsiderable enemies and could not make common cause against Hitler. Both revolutionaries and militants, nationalists curved for radical solutions. Okay, so if you want to take out take down notes, you can take this. The birth of Weimar Republic coincided with the uprising of Spartist League on the pattern of Bolshevik revolutionary revolution in Russia. The Spartists founded the Communist Party of Germany. This is important. This was the party where Hitler, which Hitler joined. Political radicalization was heightened by the economic crisis of 1923 as Germany refused to pay war repatriation, war compensation, you can say. France occupied its leading industrial area, Ruhr. Now, Germany retaliated with printing paper currency recklessly. They started printing. You, know, you want money? Yeah, okay, we will start printing the currency. So, what happened? What is related to the resulted to the value of German mark collapsed, prices of goods soared, and this was there was hyperinflation. Next comes the year of depression that is very famous, uh, famous in Europe. Uh, also, now 19, this was 1924 to 1928, that was four years, okay. Saw some stability, yes, it was built on sand, on sand, built on sand means it was not permanent. On 1924, with the introduction of the Dawes plan by the American, Germany came out of the financial instability, okay. Germany was totally dependent on the short-term loans, largely from USA. This support was withdrawn in the crash of 1929. In 1929, USA took back all its support. Okay, they stopped supporting. So you can say stopped support to the Germans. Okay, because of the crash of the Wall Street Exchange. Okay. The German economy now was hit badly. They had uh, the middle class and the working population were filled with the fear of politicalization. Means the uh, so what happened? The Weimar Republic had inherent defects. First of all, it was proportional representation. Okay, everybody did not support them. Article forty-eight, which gave the president the powers to impose emergency. Suspend civil rights, uh, civil rights, and rule by decree. Okay, so because of this, Hitler came to power. Now, hit, let's talk about Hitler. All of you will understand uh, so far. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good, good. Okay, we'll also study it, but uh, we'll do a small uh, on the thing uh, in your book also. Okay, now the years between 1924 and 1928, they saw some stability, but yet in 1929, okay, over the next three years between 1929 and the national income of the USA fell by half. Okay, so now Germany was the worst hit by the economic crisis. Why? Because the industrial production was reduced by 40%. Of the 1929, workers lost their jobs, okay, or they were paid very less wages, okay. The streets of Germany be, could see men with placards around their necks saying, willing to do any work. Means they had a card over their neck, willing to do any work. Unemployed youth played card or simply sat on street corners or desperately queued up by the local employment exchange as job disappeared, the youth took to the criminal activities and total despair became commonplace. Okay, the economic crisis created deep anxieties and fear in people. The middle class, especially salaried employees and pensioners saw their savings diminish when the currencies lost its value. Why did it lost the value? Like I told you, they began to print currencies. Small businessmen and self-employed and and retailers suffered as their businesses got ruined. These sections of society were filled with the fear of polarization and anxiety of being reduced to the ranks of the working class or worse still, the unemployed. Okay, the businessmen who were very well off, now they began to fear that they will 
be, become poor or they will turn into working class they will now their businesses will stop and they will start they will have to look for jobs okay or they would stay unemployed only organized workers could manage to keep their heads above water but unemployed weakened by bargaining power big businesses was in crisis the large mass of peasantry was affected by a sharp fall in agriculture prices and women unable to fill their children's stomachs were filled with the sense of deep despair okay now politically too the wmr republic was fragile the wmr constitution had some inherent defense defect which made it unstable and vulnerable to dictatorship one was proportional representation okay like we had said there in the note this made achieving a majority by one by any one part, uh, party a near impossible task leading to rule by coalition another defect was this is one okay this is one now this is two okay another defect was the article 48 which gave the president the power to impose emergency suspend civil rights and rule by decree within its short life the weimar republic saw 20 different cabinets lasting on an average of 239 days and a liberal use of article 48 when they um, uh, more they began to use this article 48 very often yet the crisis could could not be managed people lost confidence in the democratic parliament system okay so democratic parliamentary was had lost confidence okay which seemed to offer no solution next we talk about hitler so far everybody understands if you have any doubt i will repeat okay should i move on ma'am yes i'm going to just one second explain the political radicalism because i didn't understand that clearly yeah okay okay now political radicalism and why the there was political unrest okay and economic crisis what happened so when the birth of vmr republic came along it along with it was the economic crisis also okay now what happened they started to see russia over there now the russia was what was the bolshevik uh, revolution was there in russia now they also wanted some we should have a revolution something similar to russia okay so this was the political radicalism and during the economic crisis what was the economic crisis okay the, germany was asked to pay compensation okay now uh, because they were already uh, uh, facing financial loss they stopped paying the compensation so because they stopped paying uh, compensation france occupied its leading industrial area that was ruhr it was the kind of it was it, it was the place from where they were earning now that was also taken so what happened because uh, what happened now uh, people wanted money so what they did they started printing money now when you are printing money so it was lost its value in the market that is an economic uh, uh, when when you have more of money the price will rise okay so the, it became so much people began to buy a bread for so bag of uh, currency okay so this what happened because of printing their uh, uh, recklessly they began to print currency so because of this hyper inflation was there okay now because of all this because of problem the people are facing they were losing confidence in the vima republic and inside in their imprint was the russians are doing well so we should follow something like the russian you understand now yes ma'am okay so we now we will talk about hitler first of all hitler was born in austria in 1889 now he earned many medals for bravery in the first world war he was in the army okay now the german de defeat horrified him when he saw uh, that uh, the 
territories were taken, in, compensation was imposed. Huh? So this all and the Treaty of Versailles, this all made him furious. Okay. Now he joined the German Workers' Party, German Workers' Party, and renamed it National Socialist German Workers' Party. That afterward became came to be known as Nazi Party. Fine. Now Nazism became a mass movement only during the Great Depression. Okay. Because the Weimar Republic failed, he uh, Nazism began to rise. The Nazi propaganda stirred hopes for a better future. The Republic was a failure, so people began to think that this new idea, this Nazism propaganda, this might work for the country. Okay, now uh, Hitler was powerful and effective speaker. Main thing was the he keep what do you say? The key point to his winning was his speaker. He was giving all very, uh, he was hitting on the mind and the heart of the of the people. He was giving them false hope. They began to see hope into him. Okay. Now he promised the people a strong nation and where all would get employment. Okay. Now he said, we are going to be powerful. We are going to drive off all the problems of the country and we are going to gain our dignity. You understand it, sir? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Okay. Did you uh, get what I was saying? Oh, I think you had some problem? Yes, ma'am. Actually, my audio got stuck. That's fine. Okay. Well, you were able to hear me, right? No, ma'am. Actually, I was not able to hear it. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so I will tell you again about the rise of Hitler. Let's talk, uh, do the reading here. Okay, now like we were saying, Hitler was born in 1889 in Austria. Okay, and his, uh, he spent his uh, youth in poverty. And when the First World War woke out, he uh, broke during the World War War. He was... He enrolled in the army and he acted and he uh, also earned medals for his bravery. Okay, now the German defeat in the World War One that had horrified him because he was furious by the Versailles Treaty that, that made German uh, humiliated. Okay, now he joined in 1919, he joined a small group of the German Workers' Party and then subsequently, he took over the organization and renamed it Nationally Socialist Ger German Workers' Party, which later became to be known as the Nazi Party. You understand so far? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, further in 1923, he planned to seize the control of Bavaria, okay, march to Berlin and capture power. He failed, okay. He was arrested and tried for treason. Treason means uh, you can say loot and uh, burning. Okay, and later released. The Nazi could not effectively mobilize popular support till the 1930s. Until 1930s, he was not popular at all. Okay. So now during the Great Depression, that Nazis, uh, Nazism became a mass movement. Why? Because the Great Depression, everybody was suffering. People of our class in Germany was suffering. So they wanted a change and they saw hope in Nazism. Okay. So as we see after 1929, banks collapsed and businessmen shut down. Workers lost their jobs and the middle class were threatened with the the situation in which a situation Nazi propaganda stirred hopes for the better future. Okay, so the Nazi propaganda was stirred hope, and the Nazi uh, in for the better future in 1928, the Nazi party got no more than 2.6 percent votes in the Reichstag, the parliament, German parliament. By 1932, it had become the largest party with 37 percent votes. So it rose from 2.6% to 32% votes. Okay. And why was that possible? Because Hitler was a very powerful speaker. Okay. Hitler was a powerful speaker. 
his passion and his words moved people he promised to build a strong nation undo the injustice of the versailles treaty okay and restore the dignity of the german people okay so what did he what are the promises he made first of all he uh, that he would make build a strong nation okay second he would undo the injustice of the versailles treaty okay now the third he will restore the german dignity yeah and he fourth he promised employment for those looking for work and secure future for the youth he promised to weed out all foreign influences and resist all foreign consequences against Germ german okay fifth was he promised to weed out all foreign influences okay we want you can note down okay now hitler devised a new style of politics he understood the significance of rituals and spectacle in mass mobilization okay now nazi held massive rallies and public meetings to demonstrate the support of hitler so he did less of press conference okay he did not answer any questions he did not allow anybody to ask him any questions what he did he just kept rallies and he just kept asking people to support him and he was the one who de delivered the speech and the people in the uh, in the rally cheered him okay the red banners with the swastika okay the nazi salute and the ritual rounds of applause uh, after the speeches were all part of the spectacles of power so what he did they, there should be a logo there was a logo the swastika yeah this was there and there was a special uh, high hitler the slogan for uh, addressing okay and then there was a special red banner and then they would uh, there was a round of applause and there was cheering so this was all the uh, nazi propaganda by which was uh, started by uh, hitler now the nazi propaganda skillfully projected hitler as a masia but he is a savior he is god yeah he is almighty he is the one who is going to remove all your problems okay he was a savior as someone who had arrived to deliver people from their distress okay it is an image that captured the imagination of people whose sense of dignity and pride had been shattered who were living in a time of acute economic and political crisis so i want you all to uh, revise this uh, read this chapter okay and revise this uh, uh, i hope you understand uh, you just revise and you understand we have done a part of uh, how hitler was came to power right anybody has any question i'll take up questions sampath how are you doing hello are you there yes ma'am okay okay you understood everything yes okay please read the chapter okay yes ma'am not you will end of class now yes. you saying something no nothing ma'am not okay 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 yukta okay ryan bye okay. good night bye. thank you ma'am